Are you trying to build an app that's fast, secure, and scalable, but you don't have the time to reinvent the wheel yourself? We can help you. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and today I will show you some of the features that we offer that will help you build your app in no time, producing very little code. So here I have what we call the dashboard. Here you'll find the database browser, where it is you're going to store your classes and objects, and you'll find two classes created for convenience. The user class, so you can create and manage users, and the role class, so you can group together users with similar privileges, making it easier to manage over time. If you want to create a new class graphically, all you have to do is to click this Create a Class button, give it a good name, so I'm going to call my person. Choose if it's a protected class, so you have to authenticate to retrieve its data, or a public class, so you don't have to authenticate to retrieve data. Today I'll be creating a public one. So create a class, and my person class showed up here, with a few properties already set. Object ID is unique per object inside the database, so you can use it kind of a primary key. Update that and create that are timestamps, those are automatically created and populated, so if you need to order your records, you can use these properties. And ACL stands for Access Control List, and it is the ability for you to read and write a specific object inside the database. So the granularity of security goes as deep as the object level. If you want to add new properties to this class, all I have to do is click this Add a New Column button, choose the data type, basically anything that is JSON encodable can be stored as a property. So I'm going to choose a string and call it name. And my name as a string showed up there. Also, I'm going to add a number and call it age. And my age as a number showed up there. All data validations and all operations in GraphQL and uh, REST API are automatically created for every single class that I create. If I want to add data to this class, all I have to do is click add a row and start typing. So Alex, which is 41, and Alison, which is 40. I can even relate records between classes. To illustrate that, I'm going to create a new class call it dog. It will also be a public class. And every dog will have a name, which will be a string. But also, we'll have an owner, which is a person. So to relate data, we choose the data type pointer. It will ask me for a target class, so I'll tell person, and give it a good name, owner. And now my owner as a pointer to the person class showed up there. If I want to add new dogs, all I have to do is click Add a row, type Fido, and I want to add an owner from the existing person class. So to help me, I'll open it on a new tab, and I'll be using the object ID from this class to relate data to the dog class. So I'm going to copy the object ID from here and paste it in here. Click Add, and now this data is saved and related, and I can query on it from now on. Let me also add a new dog, which will be Rex, and Rex will be a dog for Allison. So I'm going to paste the Allison object ID here, click Add, and now this data is also related. If you want to persist data in a in questionable uh, proofed way, to ensure that the record was created at that time with that data, you can subscribe to our blockchain. All you have to do is come to the blockchain feature, choose the class that you want. Let's say I want to persist dogs. Click Add Class to Blockchain. This takes a couple of seconds. And from now on, every single dog that I add will be persisted also to the blockchain. So if I, at any moment in time, I need unquestionable proof that the record was created with containing that data on that time. I can do that uh, from, uh, from the blockchain feature. Something really nice that we have is cloud code. Cloud code is code that you deploy to our servers and it will run from our infrastructure instead of your devices. And doing so have many benefits. First, because you don't have to uh, integrate any SDKs. All your databases and cloud code are tied together, so you can consume uh, data from the database directly from cloud code. Also, you can use database triggers uh, to automatically run code on the certain database events. 
you can also code it as a cloud job. A cloud job is a piece of code that you can schedule the execution. So if you have any computing intensive tasks, perhaps a data sanitization process that must run from time to time, you can uh, code it as a cloud uh, job and schedule the execution. It will run automatically and give you a report at the very end. And something really, really nice that we offer is the consoles where right, that you can help you build your app and debug if you have any problems. We offer three types of consoles to help you build your app. The first one is the REST API console that of course makes REST API calls. So if I want to retrieve the, uh, the records from the person class, for instance, all I have to do is type here, uh, classes slash person, send query, and my records will show up uh, right here. I can also run query parameters and even impersonate other users if I want to see how that data will be delivered to that specific user. And something really, really, really nice that we have is the GraphQL console. The GraphQL console uh, will run GraphQL queries and uh, mutations, and you'll find in here documentation already created for all your classes, including the classes that you manually generate, and also schemas for your classes, including the classes that you manually generate, that you can download and integrate to your projects. And from here, you can also rely on autocomplete to help you build your queries and mutations. And once they're working, you can just copy this code, paste inside your project, and they will just work. To illustrate, I'm going to create a new query. This query will be on the dogs class. From inside the dogs class, I'm going to get the edges. From that, I'll get the node, and I want to retrieve the name of the dog. If I click play, I have Fido and Rex. And also from here, I can retrieve the data in, of the pointer that I created, which is owner. So I put owner, and I want the name of the person that owns that dog. If I run it again, Fido belongs to Alex and Rex belongs to Alison. And all this query, querying two distinct classes, made just one API request to the backend. So this is very, very efficient. And also, we have a JavaScript console that allows you to write and run JavaScript code directly from your browser so you don't have to use any IDE to develop. If you know at least one programming language but has no knowledge at all about our framework, we can still accelerate your development. If you click API reference, here you'll find the, per, the classes that you created, so person class and dog class, and this will automatically produce code for the seven most used programming languages on back forever. So let's say I want to operate the person class. I click person, I'll find methods for creating, reading, updating, and deleting objects. Let's say I want to create a new person. I click creating objects. And here I can choose the, the programming language that I'm most familiar with. Let's say I'm working with Swift. All I have to do is click Swift. This will read through the schemas of my classes and generate code that will just work. Uh, if I change the classes, add properties, remove properties, it will also reflect the data here in real time. So all I have to do is reload this website, click again on the uh, on the specific language that I'm working with, and it will just work. All I have to do is copy this code and paste inside my project. So these are some of the features that we offer that will help you build your app, and it will be fast and secure and scalable. We got you covered on all aspects. You can just focus on, uh, the produ on producing the most important part for your end user, which is the front end of your application. Also, all the cloud code is compatible with NPM modules, so this can also accelerate your development because you don't have to reinvent the wheel yourself on the backend. You can just find a NPM module that does whatever you need to do, upload that model to back for app and start using for your, from your cloud code. So another way is speed up your development process. We also send emails. We can ver uh, verify the authenticity of the emails of your end users. We send push notifications and we do a lot of stuff. Also, we are the only platform that I know of that is 100% customizable to your business's needs. So if you need a specific software, a specific version or a specific firewall rule to operate, we can help you achieve that inside our servers. I hope you liked this video and hope to see you as a back for app customer soon. See you soon. Bye bye.